Hi, this is Dan Nelson. I'm an artist and an illustrator. No self-respecting artist would go without a self-portrait. There it is in oil. This is a charcoal powder illustration, as is this that I did in the past year. Years ago, one of my favorite things to do was cartoons. Pen and ink and airbrush for that one. I still do a lot of storyboards. I've done and won a lot of competitions in street painting. Here's a beautiful house from downtown Charleston, South Carolina. And here is an oil painting from downtown Raleigh, North Carolina, my hometown. Pen and ink and airbrush, Arab study. I do comps and storyboards and uh, we'll do them in your office if you'd like me to do so. Downtown Wake Forest, oil painting. I've done a lot of airbrush in my time, photorealistic stuff and cutaway views. Speaking of detail, here's a copy of a Bouguereau painting in oil done in the style of the old masters. Amazing painting. More storyboards. Plain air painting is my main forte. Here I was standing at the Brooklyn Bridge painting. More storyboards. Plain air painting in downtown Raleigh. Airbrush and colored pencil did the work for this work for Flaxo Welcome. Charcoal powder portrait and a watercolor portrait. I love portraiture. The only area of design that I like is type design and calligraphy. Here's my kids when they were very young in our backyard. <laughs> yeah, right. I've done a lot of storytelling artwork in my life. Written stories and done the pictures to go along with them. Oil painting. Oil pastel. Plain air painting in downtown Raleigh. Again, plain air painting. Type design and calligraphy. Pen and ink and watercolor. More storyboards. Really simple watercolors with pencil. Airbrush. Door of Wonder. That was a lot of fun. Plain air painting. Here's a series of charcoal drawings. Charcoal powder. Looks like Harry Potter, doesn't it? That was a lot of fun. See the hidden pictures? Fun project. Here's a quick oil painting of Duke Chapel in Durham, North Carolina. Speaking of Duke Chapel, here's a painting that's almost eight feet tall of Duke Chapel. You never have to go to church if you buy that painting. It's right there in your living room all the time. Speaking of Duke, here, here are some murals that I did for Duke Hospital in their, in their uh, pediatric cardiology department. Here's an old favorite airbrush colored pencil, oil portrait, airbrush and pen and ink, and some more airbrush. Guy going fast. Plain air painting downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. Fantasy painting. I call it storytelling art. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it. More type design and calligraphy. Pen and ink and watercolor. Had a great time sitting at Grand Central Station doing that painting. There's Plain Air, Greenville, South Carolina. More Bleecker Street in Greenwich Village. Greenwich Village Square. And then some more storytelling artwork. A lot of fun for me to do that kind of stuff. Here's a historical painting I did from a little old newspaper print. Architectural renderings kept me busy a lot of times through the years. Here's a wonderful watercolor portrait. And some quick color pencil storybook illustration. More airbrush to the right readers. Centennial. An icon at downtown Raleigh, oil painting. I did the logo, designed it, put it on the wall. Oil painting. This is graphite, love pencil. More type design and airbrush. And more type design. And more type design. Architectural rendering. And here's an oil pastel, a lot of fun, and another oil pastel. This is airbrush and pen and ink portraiture on mylar, painting on both sides. I'm the only person in the world that does that, but I know it's plain air, old house in mylar. Here's the mayor, the uh, governor's mansion in North Carolina. This is an 8 by 10 foot painting of Paris. Here's a not quite so big painting of Paris. I did this for someone's uh, reception in their backyard. Here's a watercolor painting from Prince Edward Island, Canada. These paintings right here are from Little Washington, North Carolina. Oil paintings. 
Here's a painting commemorating the ECU Pirates. Greenville, North Carolina. Speaking of pirates, well, he's a captain, not a pirate. And maybe that's his ship. I don't know. Got a kind of nautical thing going on here. Graphite, again. Plain air painting from southern France. A lot of fun. Here's an illustration showing Cancun. This is a plain air painting from downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. Hot store door. Tiny little boy paintings. And more type design. The only part of design I really want to have anything to do with. Here's oil painting. And a painting from southern France. A cartoon. I used to do cartoons more than anything. Speaking of which, here is a combination of plein air painting. I stood on this bridge in Central Park, but I did this cartoon for Kidsville News, the fastest growing children's newspaper. Here's a painting of sunlit sycamore tree in the Smoky Mountains. More lettering, oil painting, pencil sketch of a house in Kernersville, North Carolina. Still life, acrylic with oil on top. Thank you very much. Storytelling artwork and more lettering. More fantasy storytelling artwork. And finally, one more. Pen and ink and airbrush on mylar. Oil painting, farm in Michigan. Storytelling artwork. Wrote the story and then did the pictures. Type design. I love drawing letters. Airbrush, cutaway view. Oil painting from Washington, North Carolina in the snow. And our friend Truman diving in a pool. Here's a formal oil portrait of Truman. And here's a not quite so formal Photoshop portrait of Truman. This is from a festival Nancy and I attended in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Plain air, New York City. Storytelling artwork. One of my favorites. Here's some cottages up in northern Michigan. I called it Waiting for Snow. One last calligraphy, and of course, the zebra, which marks the end of my portfolio. Hope you enjoyed that. Contact me if you need some work. And uh, check out my dear friend Gintis Koto's website, make a contribution. Thanks.